この世の中に役に立ちたい。I wanted to create things that are useful for society. I decided to join this program, which has the slogan Designing Social Systems and Architectures. Just studying languages isn't enough for researching natural language processing. I was interested in a school where different kinds of people cooperate and solve a variety of issues. I didn't feel any anxieties. Instead, I had an excited feeling that something new was going to happen. The students participate in the summer design school and take the course called field based learning and problem based learning. This is the first step in interdisciplinary collaboration where they will have excitement but will also get to know the difficulties of such collaboration. The world seems to have changed into the stage where relationships between software and physical objects are becoming more and more fundamental. I think that engaging with physical computing throughout the graduate program is very helpful for students when they graduate and start working in the real world. I was doing a workshop about urban development, and I was impressed with the facilitators who are really good at time management. They not only moved the discussion forward at a good tempo, but helped with the flow of discussion. We were able to prepare a solution to the problem by the deadline. In addition, we used methods to engage the audience, such as making puppets and performing a play. Everyone who participated in this workshop enjoyed the presentation. It is good for me to consider what role suits me within the larger framework of collaboration through these workshops. In the design workshops, I have experienced a lot of failures. When I work with experts from different fields to seek solutions for a particular problem, the discussions are not deep and the outcomes are unclear. I suppose that one of the difficulties is the diverse understandings of the problem. Although we deal with the same issue, how we grasp it is totally different. One of the biggest reasons explaining why we could not work well together is the inability to sync these understandings. Current artifacts are forming complex systems made of interactions between people and technology in workplaces. That is, artifacts do not necessarily imply only technologies of machines and information, but they should be designed taking into account human factors and usability as well as organizational factors, such as what communities and rules they operate under. The design school program will develop skills and attitudes for the students. To imagine the world from various stakeholders' points of view, and to prepare representations depending on with whom they want to communicate with and what they want to convey. While my special study is about the theory of software, in this program I have learned other methods to design things concerned with humans and machines. For example, conducting an analysis of a serious accident in nuclear facilities, or learning cognitive psychology design methods. Which consider what humans are. These are very instructive for me. Taking the course on service design has taught me the importance of analyzing customers' behavior and sentiment. This has also helped me rethink the goal of my own research and made me become aware that developing machine translation systems should not only focus on increasing translation accuracy, but also on its usage, situations, and values that can be recognized by other fields. After completing the master's course, the students stay as a team in a field where a problem exists and have experience of managing open innovation in a company. Through communication with various stakeholders, they learn how to have empathy for the field and get to the root of the problem. I've been engaging in a number of workshops that involve students from a variety of fields. I found it very challenging to come up with ideas that make use of such diverse backgrounds. When I was taking the open innovation practice, where I had to direct a design workshop, I paid attention to the diversity of the participants and sought to share and evolve ideas amongst them. When I went to Indonesia as part of a field internship, I realized that there was separation between my research and the things that people, such as rice farmers, want and need to know. I had opportunities to develop my skills to identify problems and to experience the process of a collaboration with those from different backgrounds. These experiences have become a great life asset.
Our biggest goal is to expand PhD research beyond their original scopes. We hope that PhD students will be able to clearly imagine how our society will change when their research is successful. Collaboration between natural language processing and other research fields will become much more active from now on. For example, students studying robots that can talk and interact with people should take psychology courses. I have been studying context-oriented programming language, which is a paradigm that supports software adaptation to an execution context. In my PhD study, I want to know more about hardware and machines, then create a new programming language. Using the design school curriculum, I have learned mechanical engineering as a minor and in an internship in a company that makes industrial robots. Now I am making a new programming language which can be used to control robots. I was in a management science course, but I often had gotten advice from psychology and informatics people as well. I had applied qualitative analysis based on management perspectives in my master thesis and also added some quantitative analysis to it. After going on to the doctoral course, I strongly feel that I need to acquire qualitative research skills like ethnomethodology and conversation analysis as the core of my specialization. I think that refining one's expertise is essential in taking interdisciplinary studies forward. Thank you.